Metformin Side Effects Hello and welcome to Vital Dose, your trusted source for clear, reliable, and practical health advice here in the UK. Whether you're managing a health condition, supporting a loved one, or simply curious about your well-being, we're here to break down medical topics into plain English, always with your health at heart. Today, in partnership with UK Health, we're diving deep into one of the most prescribed medicines for type 2 diabetes, metformin. It's a medication millions of people in the UK rely on daily, but like every medicine, it comes with potential side effects, some mild, some rare but serious. We'll unpack each one, explain why it happens, and give you practical tips on what to do if you notice symptoms. So grab a cuppa, and let's get started. Section 1. Metformin is often the first-line medication prescribed for people with type 2 diabetes. It works mainly by reducing the amount of glucose your liver releases into the bloodstream and by helping your body use insulin more effectively. It's also sometimes prescribed for conditions like PCOS and even in certain cases of prediabetes. The NHS lists metformin as a well-tolerated drug for most people, but no medicine is entirely free of side effects. Understanding these potential effects is vital, not to scare you, but to empower you to make informed decisions and spot warning signs early. The 10 Side Effects in Detail 1. Lactic Acidosis Lactic acidosis is extremely rare, but potentially life-threatening, and it's one of the first serious warnings that comes up in every NHS leaflet on metformin. In simple terms, it means lactic acid, a byproduct your body naturally produces, builds up too quickly, and your bloodstream becomes too acidic. Metformin can very rarely trigger this, especially in people whose kidneys can't filter waste properly. In the UK, this risk is higher in older patients, those with chronic kidney disease, liver problems, heavy drinkers, or anyone who is severely dehydrated from illness. Symptoms are easy to miss at first. Deep muscle pain, unusual weakness, slow or shallow breathing, and sometimes stomach cramps or feeling cold in your hands and feet. Here's a real-life example. A 72-year-old man in Birmingham on long-term metformin was admitted to A&E with confusion and rapid breathing. Blood tests showed high lactate levels. Luckily, his GP had warned him about stopping metformin during stomach flu, but he forgot. He recovered, but it's a reminder of why NHS advice is to pause metformin during vomiting, diarrhea, or severe infections. Prevention is simple. Attend regular kidney checks, drink enough fluids, avoid heavy alcohol use, and temporarily stop metformin during major illness always confirm with your GP. If symptoms appear, this is a 999 situation, no delays. Remember, while the condition is rare, early action can save a life. 2. Metallic taste. That strange metallic taste some people notice in the first weeks of taking metformin might seem harmless, but it can make food less enjoyable. This happens because metformin can alter your saliva's chemical balance or interact with taste buds. It's not dangerous, but it's surprisingly common. Studies suggest up to 3 to 5% of UK patients report it. The taste can make tea taste odd, coffee bitter, or certain foods off. It often fades as your body adjusts over 2 to 4 weeks. Until then, the NHS suggests small, practical fixes taking your dose with food, chewing sugar-free gum, sipping water regularly, or having mild mint tea. Imagine sitting down for your Sunday roast and finding the gravy tastes like you've licked a spoon straight from the cutlery drawer. Frustrating, but temporary. If the metallic taste is unbearable, your GP may offer the extended release version, which tends to cause fewer taste changes. Most importantly, this side effect does not indicate toxicity, so don't panic, but do speak up if it's impacting your nutrition. 3. Skin Reactions Skin problems on metformin are rare, but important to recognize early. These can include mild rashes, redness, 
itchiness, hives, or, in rare cases, swelling of the face, lips, or tongue. In the UK, mild allergic type rashes usually appear within the first month, but more severe reactions may develop later. Why does this happen? Your immune system may react to the active drug or even one of the pill's inactive ingredients. Mild cases often clear on their own, but NHS guidance is firm. Sudden swelling or breathing difficulty is a medical emergency. Call 999 immediately. For everyday management, you can take clear photos of the rash to show your GP, avoid scratching, and use a gentle fragrance-free moisturizer. One patient I worked with in Manchester noticed small itchy bumps after starting metformin. Her GP switched her to a different brand formulation and the problem resolved. This shows why not all side effects mean you must stop the medicine entirely. Sometimes a small adjustment solves the issue. 4. Vitamin B12 Deficiency One of the most talked about long-term side effects of metformin in the UK is vitamin B12 deficiency. Metformin can affect how your small intestine absorbs B12, a nutrient vital for healthy red blood cells and nerves. Over several years, this can quietly drain your B12 stores. Signs can be subtle at first. Tiredness, brain fog, memory slips, pale skin, or pins and needles in your hands and feet. Left untreated, B12 deficiency can lead to anemia or nerve damage. NHS guidelines now recommend B12 blood checks every two to three years for anyone on metformin long term. Picture this. A 58-year-old woman in Glasgow started forgetting where she left her keys and feeling unusually exhausted. Blood tests showed low B12, which was easily corrected with injections. She stayed on metformin but now gets checked regularly. Prevention is straightforward. Eat B12-rich foods like fish, eggs, dairy, and fortified cereals, or take supplements if advised by your GP. The good news? This is manageable and completely reversible if caught early. 5. Gastrointestinal Effects If there's one metformin side effect that NHS nurses hear about daily, it's stomach upset. This includes nausea, bloating, diarrhea, and occasional cramping. Around 1 in 5 patients in the UK experience this when they first start. Metformin works partly in the gut, and this local action can irritate the stomach lining or alter your gut microbiome. Taking it with food and building the dose gradually can help. Many GPs now start patients on a very low dose and increase slowly to give the body time to adjust. A typical scenario. A man in Leeds starting metformin for newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes felt bloated and had loose stools for two weeks. Switching to the slow-release form reduced his symptoms by 80%. The NHS often uses this extended release option for people sensitive to the regular tablet. Other tips. Stay hydrated, eat smaller meals, avoid greasy foods early on, and don't skip breakfast. Most people find their stomach settles after a month, making this a short-term hurdle rather than a deal-breaker. 6. Weight Loss Metformin is famous for causing modest weight loss in some people, especially those with type 2 diabetes. This effect can be a bonus for patients who are overweight, as it often happens due to reduced appetite and improved blood sugar control. NHS studies in the UK show that some patients lose between 1 to 3 kilograms over several months without making big lifestyle changes. But while slow, steady weight loss can be healthy, sudden or excessive weight loss might signal another problem, like uncontrolled diabetes, overactive thyroid, or even other illnesses. This is why regular GP checkups and weight monitoring are important. Take Sarah from London as an example. She started metformin for pose and found herself losing about half a stone in four months. She felt great, but her GP still ran blood tests to be sure the loss was healthy. All was fine, but the check gave her peace of mind. To support healthy weight loss, pair metformin with balanced eating, moderate exercise, and regular meal times. 
NHS dietitians can help create meal plans tailored to diabetes or PCOS. Remember, gradual change is best, and the goal is better health, not just a lower number on the scale. 7. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Metformin alone rarely causes hypoglycemia because it doesn't make your pancreas release extra insulin. However, the risk increases if you take it alongside other blood sugar-lowering drugs like insulin or sulfonylureas, or if you skip meals. Signs of low blood sugar can appear quickly. Sweating, trembling, racing heartbeat, hunger, blurred vision, or sudden irritability. Severe cases may cause confusion, fainting, or seizures. In the UK, diabetes teams always recommend carrying a quick sugar source glucose tablets, a small chocolate bar, or a carton of orange juice, especially if you're driving or exercising. Consider John from Manchester, who was on both metformin and glycoside. One afternoon he skipped lunch and felt shaky while shopping. He quickly drank a sugary drink and felt better within minutes, but learned the hard way to never skip meals. Prevention is simple. Eat regularly, monitor your blood sugar, and know your warning signs. If you have frequent hypos, tell your GP. Your medication mix might need adjusting. NHS 111 is there for advice if you're unsure after an episode. 8. Hair loss and hair changes. Hair loss isn't listed as a common metformin side effect, but some patients do notice thinning or texture changes. This can sometimes be due to vitamin B12 or folate deficiency both nutrients that metformin can affect over time. Stress from managing a chronic condition can also play a role. Hair health depends on many factors, nutrition, hormones, genetics, and overall health. If your hair is shedding more than usual, NHS GPs can order blood tests to check for nutrient deficiencies or thyroid problems. Take Priya from Birmingham, who noticed her ponytail getting thinner after a year on metformin. Her GP found her B12 was low. After supplements, her hair improved within months. To keep hair strong, focus on a protein-rich diet with iron, zinc, and vitamins. Gentle hair care, avoiding harsh chemicals, and reducing heat styling can also help. While rare, hair changes are worth mentioning to your GP so they can rule out underlying causes. 9. Anemia and Hematologic Effects Anemia means your body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen effectively. Long-term metformin use can contribute to anemia, often due to reduced vitamin B12 absorption, but sometimes iron deficiency plays a role too. Symptoms include fatigue, pale skin, shortness of breath, dizziness, and feeling cold. Left untreated, anemia can strain your heart and lower your energy for everyday activities. In the UK, anemia is often picked up during routine diabetes checkups, even before symptoms appear. Imagine Tom from Cardiff, who is always tired and short of breath walking upstairs. A simple blood test revealed low hemoglobin and B12 levels. With treatment, he felt like a new person within weeks. Prevention is all about regular blood tests, eating iron and B12-rich foods, and treating any deficiencies early. The NHS can provide supplements or injections if needed. Catching anemia early means you can stay active and avoid complications. 10. Acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, is very rare in metformin users, but when it happens, it's a medical emergency. The condition can develop suddenly and cause severe abdominal pain that radiates to the back, often with nausea, vomiting, and fever. Metformin isn't a common trigger, but cases have been reported. Other causes include gallstones, alcohol misuse, or high triglyceride levels. If pancreatitis develops, NHS guidance is to stop metformin immediately and seek urgent hospital care via 999. Consider Emily from Edinburgh. She developed sharp abdominal pain and vomiting one weekend. At a &E, 
doctors confirmed pancreatitis, likely linked to gallstones. She wasn't able to restart metformin, but her diabetes care team found an alternative treatment. The takeaway? While the risk is tiny, knowing the symptoms means you can act fast. Early hospital treatment greatly improves recovery and prevents serious complications. And that brings us to the close of today's in-depth journey through the side effects of metformin. I truly hope this episode has not only given you the facts, but also the strength and confidence to take control of your health. Remember, your well-being is not just about medicine. It's about awareness, early action, and the choices you make every single day. At Vital Dose, in partnership with UK Health, our mission is to empower you with trustworthy, practical, and UK-specific health information that you can rely on. We are here to stand with you, guide you, and help you keep your health on track. Because a healthier you means a stronger community. If this video made a difference for you, please show your support. Give it a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and share it with friends, family, and anyone across the UK who might benefit from this knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe to Vital Dose for more reliable health videos every week. Together with Vital Dose and UK Health, let's build a healthier, stronger future.